Well, I just got my propellers in the mail. Uh, started to open up the corner here, and I remembered I wanted to shoot a video of it. So, anyway, let me get the package open. It's, uh, it came like, feels like there's some foam in it or something. It's some kind of weird plastic shipping thing. I hope they're in good shape. I'll be back as soon as I get this pack. Okay, I got it open. I'm looking down in the package right now, and what we have there is, uh, Way to go, Rick. Anyway, got a plastic bag full of, uh, looks like adapters. Prop size shaft adapters, I think is what they're called. And then, uh, pull out the rest of the stuff. There's the props. And they're supposed to be counterclockwise and clockwise ones here. Um, there should be eight total. I got enough for in case I crash it the first time I fly it. Uh, let me get the stupid wrap. Okay, there's what they look like. They some monsters. They're big. 10 inches across, 4.5 pitch. Uh, they're all black. I didn't, get, I didn't get black and red like I was gonna, but... Anyway, that's, that's the props. I'll, I'll show them when I get them put on the, on the copter. Okay, something interesting I noticed when I was putting this together is that these props they they seem to fit on they seem to fit on here pretty good they go on they just slop right on there but it seems to me like they might have a little bit of slop in it so what i i noticed that i didn't like it so what i wanted to do was try and figure out if one of those adapters would be a better fit on the shaft and sure as well just sure as you know what uh, one of them turned out to be a perfect fit on each one of these adapter uh, things. They're all, all these are different sizes. There are none of those. I thought it was two of the same, but they're, you know, I thought that was two of the same, that was two, that was two, and then that was two, but it wasn't. It turns out that uh, they're all slightly different. And if you push this particular size right here that I have into the recess, uh, first you gotta twist it out of there and then you gotta twist it out of there and then you gotta trim off the little there's gonna be a little nub of plastic on each side you gotta take a real sharp knife and just trim it off but anyway then I, you push it in there get it seated real well and uh, I believe that's gonna do something to stop the wobble matter of fact that's probably what a lot of people might do wrong I don't know maybe they don't put their adapters on but once you stick on the shaft now, it's a nice tight press fit, and uh, is, there's no more wobble at all. I mean, I can't move it back and forth laterally at all. So you get it pressed down on there and put the nut on, and then what you got is a nice, hopefully a balanced propeller. Now I'm not positive that I'm doing this right or anything, but I'm pretty sure you just take and uh, you stick a piece in there and that's why they give you the holes to tighten it up anyway you get it on get it tight then you take and you give it a little leverage what I'm going to do is with my other hand I can't obviously I can't film with both hands and try tighten at the same time so I'm going to grab it here and then twist up here and then it should be tight after that okay well there's the propped up version of the uh, feng shui multi wee homemade quadcopter drone you can see the propellers spin in opposite directions they they run opposite each other front and back um this one runs the same way as that one and that one runs the same way as that one i think i've got this right um the only thing left that i need to buy or that i, that I well actually i just got a confirmation in the mail just today that the uh, lipo batteries i ordered three of them uh two for the flight and one for the uh radio transmitter it runs on a lipo too uh those are on the way along with that is coming a low battery voltage buzzer no i already got one of those um it's uh ubec it's called a universal battery eliminator circuit is coming uh 
And I've got two other items coming in this shipment. I'm not sure which, what, what they are or what they do. I can't remember. But uh, as soon as I get that stuff and my transmitter, which I'm going to order probably Monday or Tuesday, and that'll probably come a week or two later, I'll get my uh, I'll get my drone in the air.